Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training which is on copy check indicator values using SU25 transaction. SU25 transaction is needed during the initial installation of SAP and during each subsequent upgrade. Its main utility is to copy the SAP provided check indicator default values from US OBT and US OBX tables to the corresponding customer tables US OBT underscore C and US OBX underscore C. These two set of tables are needed so that the customer changes are not overwritten by SAP delivered values during a future upgrade. So just take note that we have US OBT and US OBX tables which comes from SAP basically these tables are maintained by SAP and any upgrade they modify those tables and the customer specific values are stored in corresponding tables which is having a suffix of underscore C. Now here we just saw the T code SU25. So the first step is to initially fill the customer table US OBT underscore C and US OBX underscore C. This is only executed during initial installation of SAP. Executing this step during a future upgrade will overwrite all customer specific changes to check indicators. The next step compares the customer values with SAP delivered values. So we have the option of accepting one or more basically. So what we have seen here is let's go to the straight into SU25 transaction. So first step that we covered is used during initial installation and it is never used after that. And from second step onwards basically it is the preparation compare with SAP values. Okay so after that the next step that is 2B, 2C, it's basically it will tell you the affected transactions that is which transactions will not work if you and we need to populate those transactions with the new values which roles need to be checked and display change transaction code that is 2D. So basically we need to run 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D and this will help to identify which transactions which roles get impacted during an upgrade so that is the main objective of these these basically checks so what we are seeing here is that we are seeing the objects which gets impacted we need to identify those objects and that is where su25 is used so if you see the first one which is never used except from the initial installation because it overrides all the customer specific values. 2B is basically it compares the transactions. 2A is compares the different values. 2B is for the transactions. So steps 2A and 2B make changes to the customer ta tables in the profile generator. Choose step 3 if you want to transport these changes. Okay. So that is about 2 a and 2B. Okay, so if we run this here, you can see that the org level contained in SAP default values is missing in table. This org values is missing in these tables. So basically, if we run this, it will give some comparison that these are not available. So we just need to take note of them and make our changes accordingly. Okay, so just click on the green arrow and okay so here we click on the green arrow it's basically updating it and it will give you a report that is the action is performed that is a preparation then next is compare basically so if you have made up changes to check indicators of field values in transaction SU24 you can compare these values with the new transactions. So here in this case you can see that if I am going to upgrade it my these objects will get impacted. Okay so I just need to make sure that I am taking care of them otherwise it will get it will impact the users who is having these objects. Next thing is roles which will be impacted. Okay in this it will give me a report of the roles which will get impacted. 
okay so it is running this particular report and it will give me a report of which roles to be checked so it's coming it's generating it it's basically it will give you a report of the impacted roles by this upgrade so basically for any upgrade we need to make sure that we run this so that we can modify our existing objects is this existing transactions and we can identify the transactions which may get impacted and accordingly we can we can update them so that is very important otherwise this is actually one of the main security activities during an upgrade in fact this is the major activity especially we need to go to each transaction modify them with the new values with the new changes so that the impact to the users impact to the behavior of the objects and the role is taken care so that is one key role and once all the changes are taken care we can just put them in the transport and transport them to the subsequent systems like we can identify the changes in dev system move them into other systems so here you can see that these are the transactions these are the roles basically which will get impacted so we need to check these roles before the upgrade okay so that is one key thing that this particular transaction that is su25 brings and this is the value it provides basically it will give a role report of which trans which objects get impacted by the upgrade basically which t codes gets impacted which roles get impacted accordingly we can modify roles we can make our changes and this will help to identify them club them together transport into subsequent systems like if you are uh, upgrading your development system first you can identify these roles make changes in your development system transport them into quality system and then put it in production okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day